Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, I am going to tell you about the to prepare and revise CSI and life science. So if you are a CSI and life science aspirant and if you want to have a revision of CSI and life science syllabus, then watch this video. Exactly two important ways that you can revise your so before start to talk about the CSI and life science revision and how to do the CSI and life science revision, I must share two information. First things first is that when you say revision means already known things, right? So revision of what? Revision of what is already learned. So when you are revising something, make sure that already you have prepared something. So in the revision time means just one month before the examination. At least we keep one month before examination as the revision time frame. Because the CSI net syllabus is big, it's 13 years, we need uh, at least revision. Now, in this one month time, you should revise what you've learned in the past five months or nine months or a year or two years of your actual preparation phase. So generally, when we uh, teach students in our coaching, we say the different phases of preparation preparatory phase is there and then actual preparation phase is there and then finally the revision phase comes at the end. So now if you are watching this video and you either you belong to of one of the two category of students, one category we are planned and the other category unplanned. So what an unplanned category of CSI net aspirant is the planned category of those students are those who know the syllabus, knew the syllabus of the CSI net, who knew how to progress. And in that way, I have mapped out a different uh, strategy to qualify. And it's quite easy to revise because they already had listed the revision phase at the end of the preparation of at least six or nine months or a year or one year or a half or a two year time frame. But there are some other students, aspirants who generally don't have much idea about the examination and just uh, get to know about the examination and start preparing and they want in one month time frame. So for two different kinds of aspirants, there are two different strategies that I'm going to share. So strategy number one will be for the plan candidates who already knew the syllabus. So either the plan candidate can, can be a candidate from self can be a person of any coaching institute. So if you join any coaching institute, I'll guide you for this. Otherwise, if you're self preparing, uh, then watch this video because in that case, also prepare the uh, time frame first before the examination, before the preparation of the CSI net uh, examination that uh, if your time frame is six months, then I keep five months for the actual preparation and one for the revision. Okay. And if it's one year, then keep 10 months for the actual preparation, two months for the revision and so on and so forth. Like, okay. So now if you are a planned candidate from before, you already know that you'll be preparing all the 13 units or you're preparing eight units or 10 units, doesn't matter. Whatever number of units you're preparing, during the preparation itself, what you need to do is you need to maintain a notebook. The notebook is where you write down important information you understood this preparation. Now the information you can gather by watching a YouTube video, watching uh, any other paid lectures or by taking up notes from the internet resources. Whatever from whatever place you are getting the resources, you write down in your notebook and that notebook is going to be the most important piece of book for the preparation and this cannot be provided from outside you know I know many people they'll ask for okay I will buy the notebook, the notebook what is the price if you pay the price and get this notebook it's not going to be helpful believe me it's not the notebook that's going to help you it's the journey of putting all the important topics you did not know earlier finding it out and the journey of finding out the new note new information is the key that is the preparation and you cannot buy that because you cannot buy that time. You can buy good piece of book which is available in the internet. You can uh, you can even get the very good piece of free materials which is available in the internet. But the journey of getting the experience, you cannot buy. Okay? And if you try to do that, you fail and you will not qualify. That's what's happening with most of you. Okay? So now, what you need to do, this notebook is going to be very handy. It's going to be most important book while you prepare. So in the last all you need to do is simply just turn the pages of the notebook and you see all the details and that's going to be the most important thing and you'll get the revision. And along with that also solve some previous year questions with the notebooks because in the notebook we contain only the topic 
solve uh, previous year's questions and then get back to the notebook. This is the approach. Now the approach category of students who are unplanned students uh, right now watching this video for you also there is an offer there is a process and the process is question guided approach revision. So you also have one month let's assume you also have one month of preparation. I don't know whether you prepared it earlier or not but revision can be possible if only you know the basics otherwise you cannot revise whatever units whatever number of units you prepared earlier you can only revise them your molecular biology background you uh, start with unit 1 2 3 4 if you are from zoology background start with unit number 5 10 background start with 6 units from human physiology background start with unit 7 so for all the different units then you start with these units case of the review, what you need to do to simply go back to questions of CSI and life science and open the book and solve it based on individual topics. So for example you need two there are questions of unit two start practicing two and wherever you stuck you go back to books internet resources or videos find out the answer write it down and again go back to the question. This should be your approach in the last one month of preparation. Obviously this will take time so if you want one month and if you are not planned then in that case you need to devote 8 to 10 hours, 10 12 hours for practicing then only you can cover up 13 units in one month time frame so these are the two different approach must be used and taken by the students in order to revise the CS and life science these are the best way of CS and life science tip before closing in is that uh, there are two types of topics available two types of units available in the CSI net syllabus. One type of uh, units uh, which are most analytical, the questions are asked are mostly analytical from those units and there are other units most of the questions asked are based from those units. So what you should do is the analytical units must be prepared in your preparatory phase of preparation that is the first five months out of six months of the preparation or first ten months out of twelve months of the preparation and the last one or two months that you get as a review you should focus on the memory based questions the topics with memory questions these topics must be placed in your brain so that in the exam a question asked is a direct memory question you should answer. you should be able to answer if you read it six months earlier six months back one year back one and a half year back the it's always better idea that keep this units like unit 9 unit 11 portion of unit 4 portion of uh, unit uh, uh, 12 these things at the end of your preparation in that case uh, in your brain for longer so if you prepare it just 10 days before the exam uh, most likely it will be there with your head otherwise you will forget so these things you should do in the last one month of CSI net life science preparation and CSI net life science revision so if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye